It's likely that you're hearing many personal anecdotes about Kobe Bryant, so here's mine. I met Kobe one time backstage at an event for ESPN in New York, and I saw him and I thought, oh my gosh, that's Kobe. I gotta get a picture for the gram. Hmm. That's the picture. I didn't get it for a few minutes because as I approached him, he immediately commented on my rather large eight-month pregnant belly. How are you? How close are you? What are you having? Mm -hmm. A girl, I said, and then he high-fived me. Girls are the best. I asked him for advice on raising girls, seeing as though he quite famously had three at the time, and he said, just be grateful that you've been given that gift because girls are amazing. His third daughter, Bianca, was about a year and a half old at the time, so I asked if he wanted more children. And he said that his wife, Vanessa, really wanted to try again for a boy, but was sort of jokingly concerned that it would be another girl. And I was like, four girls, are you joking? Like, what would you think? How would you feel? And without hesitation, he said, I would have five more girls if I could. I'm a girl dad. When it came to sports, he said that his oldest daughter was an accomplished volleyball player and that the youngest was a toddler, so TBD. But that middle one, he said, that middle one was a monster. She's a beast. She's better than I was at her age. She's got it. That middle one, of course, was Gigi. When I reflect on this tragedy and that half an hour that I spent with Kobe Bryant two years ago, I suppose that the only small source of comfort for me is knowing that he died doing what he loved the most, being a dad, being a girl dad. I got to know him more as his daughter was getting older, as his family's growing, and her love of basketball, and, um, uh, we would go back and forth, you know. Um, and one text message that I have, he wanted, like, what are the most important things you teach when you play man-to-man -man defense? I go, what, what's this all about? He said, we have practice tonight, and I got to, you know, I'm, I'm teaching defense tonight. And I just shook my head, you know, like, um, you know, and he's, um, he's a guy that, that the world is going to miss. You know, growing up in L.A., um, I don't even know if I can do this. He, he meant so much to a city. Um, that fighting spirit that he had, um, I think everyone had that in him, and he found a way to make it okay for everyone to be that way. This is my, my first game back, and I think now it has even more meaning. Um, when I ruptured my Achilles, he was the, like one of the first ones who reached out to me. So to kind of, <laughs> to kind of, um, you know, be coming back the day after. Uh, I'm wearing number 10, obviously, knowing all um, his support for UConn, obviously Team USA, everything that he's done uh, for our basketball community. Um, it's, it's extremely sad, and trying to make a happy day, uh, a sad day, a happy day. Uh, because, you know, I think what you see from everybody is Kobe would have wanted us to all play and to really leave it out on the court, and, you know, that's what I'm going to do.